Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, I've compiled a list of Android applications that you should try because they add a lot of cool and useful features to your phone. So without any further delay, let's get started. The first app on the list is Smart Wake. So this app adds new smart features that uses the proximity sensor and automatically wakes or turns the device off. So once you open this app, you will see a lot of features that you can either enable or disable. The first one is raise to wake. So like in iOS 10, picking up the iPhone will turn on the iPhone. You can have the same exact feature so after enabling it, whenever you pick up your Android phone, it will turn on automatically. You will not need to press the unlock button. The next one is air control. So using this feature, you can turn on your device by waving your hand over the screen. So this feature can be useful as Sometimes when the device is laying around in the desk, you can check for notification or time. Similarly, you can also lock it using the same exact gesture when the device is on. The next feature is tilt control. So this one will let you unlock your phone with a tilt gesture. The next two features will automatically turn the phone off when it's in the pocket or resting in a table. The next app on the list is Circle Sidebar. So Sidebar adds the Is app feature that we can see in new Samsung devices. With a swipe from the edge of the screen, we are presented with a list of apps that can be opened. The UI here looks great. Apps appear in a semicircle pattern and you can also choose which app you want to appear in this list and from where you want to swipe. Swiping from the right side makes sense because we don't actually need to swipe from the right side. So the sidebar will not open accidentally when we don't need it. And for apps where you need to swipe from the right side, sidebar can be disabled for those specific applications. And this app works in top of other applications too. So suppose you are using an app and you want to go to another app, you can just swipe from the is, open up sidebar and choose another app. So it's a great app to have and it allows for easy and better multitasking. So the next app on the list is navbar. So this app is for the phones with navigation bar instead of buttons. As everything is controlled by the software, it allows for customization and this app takes advantage of that. So this app will allow you to change how the navigation bar looks and feels. So there are many options inside this app. So once you open this app, you can change the navigation bar color to match the active app color. So many apps have a Dixteen color, for example, YouTube has red, Spotify has green, Calendar has blue. So this option matches the color of navigation bar with the color of app instead of black all the times and it looks good. The next one will let you choose between one color for all the time and below you have additional options so, so you can make it to display battery percentage in the navigation bar. So the bar is divided into two parts, one light colored and one dark colored, letting us know the status of the battery. Then from the last one, you can add your own image. So I tried to put a Batman logo with transparent background and with auto color, and it does look great. So you can just unleash your creativity and make your navigation bar look completely different. Part why Android is superior than iOS. Just love the customization Android offers even without root. The next app on the list is Conscient. It's an automation app which gets triggered while walking, running, moving in a cycle or cycling. It basically aims to be an automation app. You can create custom automation presets like you can make your phone to play music whenever headphones are plugged in and you start to walk or run. Another good feature of this app is its simplicity. It's very easy to create an automation. So once you open this app, you just need to select the trigger action. In this case, let it be in vehicle. And for action, you can make it to open an app, or perform actions like playing a playlist, get in direction to a certain place. So for this one, I chose to play a playlist whenever I'm in a vehicle. And this app also uses the Google Awareness API, which has very minimal drain on the battery. Next on the list, we have HQ Music Player. So if you are looking for a well-designed music player to replace your default app, you might want to try out HQ Player. It's a simple player with great design and gestures. 
all you will see is colors and minimalism. So you will be using gestures to navigate. So in the main screen, you'll just have the song name and few controls. By swiping up, you can move to music library and browse through your media. A down swipe will provide details of the current playing song and left and right swipe changes tracks. Two finger rotate lets you control track timeline and volume. So it's a lightweight player made just to play music. So if you prefer offline music rather than online subscription, you are going to like this as it just does what it's meant to do and nothing else. So the next one is Taskbar. And this one is for Android 7.0 Nugget users. Android multitasking has been added to Android Nugget but this app takes it even further by allowing apps to be opened in windowed mode, just like in Samsung Galaxy devices. And this app is designed to be used by a keyboard and mouse and allows various shortcuts to work with Android and aims to provide Windows-like experience while using your phone. There are few limitations though. The windowed apps only work in recent app screen. For all of these to work, you need to go to recent app then open apps from the taskbar shown in the screen. You can open as many apps you want and you can resize them, you can move it around. Well, it, it's definitely not the greatest implementation, but more improvements will definitely be made by developer once people start using it and we might see windowed mode like in Samsung devices for all Android devices soon. So the next app here on the list is SwiftKey Keyboard. SwiftKey is one of the most popular smartphone keyboard and if you have not switched to SwiftKey yet, there is a new feature added that might make you switch. Few months ago, SwiftKey introduced a new prediction algorithm called Neural Network that offers enhanced predictions. Well now, that has been implemented to the SwiftKey keyboard and now SwiftKey will offer better accurate predictions as you use it. The keyboard will learn how you use it and over time it will provide better predictions, a lot better than what we get from stock keyboards. Apart from that, you still have all those good features of SwiftKey like full customization of keyboard, the option to theme, and the SwiftKey flow feature. The last app for this video is Messenger. This app is meant to replace the default messaging app. It does everything we expect from a text messaging app, but it does it better than the default one with more options. And this app also offers a Chrome extension, allowing users to receive and text messages directly from their PC. Other features include scheduled messaging, archiving a message, blacklisting, and automatic backup and restore. You can also create an account and then sync your messages between your different devices. So that's all about this video. Do let me know how you guys think about these apps here and if you know of any other great app just let me know in the comment section below. And make sure you subscribe for more great monthly app and gaming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.